I am Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor and this video is about light and how to eat it and the reason why you need to have light in your body is because it makes energy. So first of all what is light? Real quick answer it's a wavelength on uh, the electromagnetic spectrum and there's a particle associated with this and that particle is called a photon. So at this level of quantum physics the, pho the uh, photon particle can become the wavelength, and the wavelength can become the particle. So light is both. It's a photon, and it's a wavelength. So you can see different colors of light, and there's other light that you can't see. But the point is, I'm going to talk about photon, the actual word. Uh, P-H-O, in its uh, original Greek or Latin meaning, means torchbearer or light from within. So here's, this is, pho, this word is phosphorus. There's an element on the earth. You can have, there's red phosphorus and there's white phosphorus and there's different colors of phosphorus. But it has the same root, PHO. And um, when, uh, I think it's when red phosphorus is exposed to oxygen, it'll start to glow from within and it's producing its own light. And it's not bioluminescing or it's not like reflecting it's actually um, from within. So it's, it produces light. And it's the, the, the number one source of phosphorus in our diet actually is meat. So now getting down to the cells and energy, I don't know if you studied this in grade school or in chemistry or in high school or whatever, but energy comes from ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. And this is made in every single one of our cells. I'm not going to get into all that. But tri means three and phosphate. So this is um, a form of phosphorus. It's got the PHO in it. Now, the ATP is carried to a, like a location in your body. And it's, um, it dumps off one phosphorus and one oxygen. And it becomes ADP, which stands for adenosine diphosphate, which means two. So it goes from three phosphates to two. And so now you have a phosphorus and an oxygen in your body, and what does it do? It glows, or it, it emanates light from within. And that's energy. That's how you get energy. It's actually light. So how do you eat light? How do you get it in your body? Well, the two best ways are stand outside in the sun or natural light bulbs. I wrote that down here. And then the other way is organic vegetables or produce freshly picked, ideally within four hours if you can handle that. So that's where a garden comes in. And this is really important and there's a big difference between uh, fruit or vegetables that have light versus that don't have light. And um, this can be measured, the amount of photons coming from your body or from a, an apple. That can be measured. There's about 40 organizations around the world that are studying the subject of photons. And they have boxes that keep all the light out, and then they can measure the amount of photons coming off a leaf. Um, and these instruments are so sensitive, they can pick up a candle light from 12 miles away. So I'm not just blabbing about this because I, I imagine this stuff up. This is all heavily researched, and it's not well known. That they don't talk about this in the news. They don't teach this in any school that I know of. you got to learn this stuff online. Thank God for the Internet. So there's... The subject of light and uh, photons and how to get that and why it's important. So eat some light.